What's up guys? Thought I would vlog my Trader Joe's trip today. I normally do them on shorts and TikTok, so I thought it'd be fun to do a more in-depth video of everything that I'm getting. Also, hi, if you're new here, I'm Lucia, I'm 23. I'm gluten-free, I have celiac disease. I'm actually gonna do a story time journey video on that really soon, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm really tired because my boyfriend and I got in from Thanksgiving this morning at 8 a.m. We had a really early flight, but we are tracking ourselves to Trader Joe's because our fridge is completely empty like it's insane i don't think i've ever seen it this empty before but yeah let's do it i made a list on my phone of everything that i need to get this is normally how i do it and i kind of wrote out a little bit of meal inspo for this week i'm actually leaving town again on friday to go to new york city so i only really need four days of full-blown groceries so it shouldn't be too bad but we're out of like a lot of things so it probably will be a little bit over budget i try to spend about 50 dollars a week just for my half of the stuff so 100 dollars total since we're kind of cooking for two i live with my boyfriend but yeah we need to catch the bus soon so let's go hit it back from Trader Joe's. So let's do the haul. These are literally so heavy. We got two bags. The Trader Joe's that we go to, I feel like most people drive to get there. So they really overfilled our bags thinking that we had a vehicle, but we did not. It's a pretty good Trader Joe's run. It was honestly packed. I thought this Sunday after Thanksgiving would be a little bit less packed, but I guess everyone's back and needs to restock for the week and they'd be eating out and stuff. They were also out of like three of my favorite things from Trader Joe's, the gluten-free everything bagels, the K-cups that I like to get, and my overnight oats. So <laughs> I need to stop recommending all the good items so that they're never taken. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That was slightly disappointing. Those are my staples, but we made it work. First and most important thing on the list was flowers. My boyfriend got them for me. Very, very cute. I also feel like the flowers from Trader Joe's honestly last a really long time. Next, we got some bananas. We normally get the regular bananas. These are the organic ones, but the regular ones honestly just looked a little weird this time. These are the gluten-free plain bagels because they were out of the everything very very sad they expire just in a couple days so my trick is that i put them in the freezer immediately and then i just microwave them whenever i'm ready to use them and then my boyfriend got some stuff too but the way we kind of do is we just split everything evenly because we both kind of get a mixture of things that we use together and then we use separately so this is one of my boyfriend's pizzas i won't like go through all the stuff from my boyfriend but i'll just kind of like do the price breakdown and stuff all right this is my frozen pizza it's the gluten-free cauliflower crust pizza it's really really good super easy to make it's just cheap cheese really great for like a lazy dinner and if you're gluten-free but like your partner or friend isn't you can just all get your own frozen pizzas and have a little pizza night don't realize that i love frozen stuff but this is the acai bowl it's actually pretty good obviously it's not as good as a fresh acai bowl but i still do not have the blender so this is what i make do with for now really fun for a lunch or afternoon snack sort of vibe boyfriend stuff Ooh, our x bars we got five I actually meant to get a different flavor because I'm kind of getting tired of these, but this flavor is really good. I've just had it like almost every day for the past couple months, so I'm ready for something new. That's how I am with food. I feel like I go through phases and I get tired of something and then I find a new thing and I obsess over it for a couple months and then I get tired of it. <laughs> anyway, these are the peanut butter chocolate RX bars. I love having half of one of these in a the morning before a workout. It's just the right amount of filling that you need and they're good for just on the go snacks and stuff like that some almond milk i honestly hate the trader joe's brand of almond milk i don't know why so i always just get the blue diamond almond breeze one instead i use this for overnight oats coffee miscellaneous things if i'm ever baking something which i don't think i am this week and then applesauce i don't know if i've told you guys this before but i'm just really bad at swallowing pills so i have to use applesauce it's embarrassing but it is what it is it makes my experience a lot more pleasant oh also they have these really cute holiday bags so stunning i don't remember them having these last year so it must be 
be a new thing. I meant to bring my reusable bags. I need to start remembering, but we do use these for recycling, so it'll get used. We just, we have a lot of these already. <laughs> Next bag, we have the organic blue corn chips. I'm obsessed with corn tortilla chips and getting the blue ones makes me feel a little bit healthier. Oh, this is one holiday item I got. The gluten-free ginger muffins. I assume it's kind of like a gingerbread type muffin thing. I've never had these before, so I just thought I'd give them a shot. Hopefully they're good. I love having their gluten-free pastries as a little mid-morning snack, late night snack, afternoon snack. It's just, it's a really good snack and pick me up and very filling. Oh, these are the cake cups I ended up getting because they're out of the ones that I normally get, the medium roast. I'll try these. The box looks pretty at least. Then we pretty much always get two different packets of the teeny tiny avocados. It's just the perfect amount to make stuff with. Sandwiches, bagels, and we normally grab one packet where the avocados are extremely ripe and I go ahead and put these in the fridge. Someone actually asked me how I'm able to keep my avocados ripe. The trick is putting them in the fridge as soon as they're ripe so that they stay ripe for a long time. Like all of these are ripe and if I didn't put them in the fridge, they'd be completely bad by the time I needed to use them. But when I put them in the fridge, it works for the most part. And then the second bag I grab is some unripe avocados. So by the time I finish these, these are ready. That's my system. I finally figured that out after a couple months of avocados constantly going bad. So maybe you can try it out. These are PVC bars. They are so good. I love them so much better than the EBC bars, which are made from almond. This is actually a pretty new product. So they're peanut butter cocoa bars. Really good. Really tastes like peanut butter. So if you like peanut butter, I feel like you'll like it. They're also vegan, not just gluten-free. Really good snack. We got two of these. Some carrots to have as a snack. I just realized I didn't get hummus to go with them. Normally I get hummus to go with them, but I guess I'm having plain carrots this week. Black beans. I use these to make my quesadillas and I also use the frozen fire roasted peppers, the light Mexican cheese, and then some corn tortillas, which I already had, so I just needed the black beans. I'm gonna try to make my quesadilla recipe sometime this week, which is exciting. It's like my favorite meal I can make. I don't make many meals from scratch. Then this is some butternut squash. I honestly don't know what we're gonna do with this. Probably just use it as a side. Maybe we'll make chicken one night. We have a lot of frozen chicken in the freezer. These are really, really good. We've made them before. I feel like I forgot butternut squash was a thing, and I discovered it about a couple weeks ago, and I'm in love. All right, and then I got some dairy-free yogurt. Actually, finding dairy-free yogurt at Trader Joe's that I actually liked has been really, really hard. So I used to get my dairy-free yogurt from Target. They have this really good brand there. I think it's the Silk. Yeah, the Silk brand. They don't sell that at Trader Joe's. And the Aldi that I go to doesn't sell any dairy-free yogurt. So I was like, okay, I need to find one from Trader Joe's that I like. And basically the option that they have there is this organic creamy cashew yogurt. So it's made from cashew. And they sell a big version of this. Like these are little tiny to-go packets and they sell a big version but only in the plain flavor And I swear like the plain flavor just tastes literally awful. It was disgusting It made my overnight oats taste so gross So one week I decided to try the vanilla bean flavored version of it and it tastes light years better like so much better. So yeah, I ended up just getting two of these packets and then I just put aluminum foil over it so that it preserves itself throughout the week, even though it's technically supposed to be like a one use sort of dealio, but this is a system that works for me. So if you've tried the plain dairy-free yogurt from Trader Joe's, do yourself a favor and try the vanilla bean flavor version. It comes in the smaller pack, but you can make it work, especially if you're using it to make the overnight oats. Lastly, I got a turmeric shot. I've stopped buying these shots every single week because a lot of people were saying I could make these at home, which I totally get and it is kind of a waste of money but since i'm traveling this week anytime i'm doing something like out of the ordinary for my routine i like having a turmeric shot i'm sure it's a placebo but it's just a fun thing to do it's only two dollars honestly like doesn't hurt anyone and i love it so that is it this is all the stuff i got that i showed you guys and then over here is all the glutinous stuff that my boyfriend got so honestly not too much this is the receipt if you want to see our total ended up being 107.73 including the bag fee which was 28 cents we need to get that down <laughs> so individually that's 53 dollars and 86 cents so pretty much right on budget only three dollars over and it fluctuates a little bit from week to week and this was a pretty heavy week because we literally had the thing stocked up except like a little bit of things yeah all right so let's put this all in the fridge
Okay, everything is all stocked up. That is the haul, you guys. Thanks for watching and making it until the end. I make these videos every single week in short form and I post them on my TikTok in shorts. So definitely check those out every week. Let me know if you like the long form version of it too though and I can try to do more of these. Thanks for hanging out. I post a new video every Sunday and I'm always posting updates of gluten-free things on Instagram too. So definitely check me out there if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.